Well, I hope that that was mildly entertaining. Um, if you haven't been able to tell yet, today is a special day, or more specifically, this time of year is a special time of year for this channel. We have been around for two years. This channel has been trying to update and talk about either Outlander, Star Trek, Doctor Who, Supernatural. I think I've thrown in some Star Wars, some Law and Order. Yeah, I've just really enjoyed sharing some of my passion about some of these great stories with you. And since you've been along for the ride, today is a special celebration because I'm going to be making a couple of announcements and I'm going to be doing that giveaway to those of you who donated last time when I wanted to head to Indiana Comic Con. So first off, for those of you who didn't catch my last Outlander update, I will be heading to Sassanac City here uh, at the end of November. Well, middle of November, actually, from the 14th to the 17th in Kansas City, Missouri, a special convention is held by a woman named Gina Hubble. Now, she owns and runs this herself. Uh, I'm sure she has people who work for her and help her out. So I don't want to say she does everything all alone, but she has begun this convention to try to do be a little bit different than your standard convention. You've watched a few of my episodes, I'm sure, where I've uh, walked you around a convention or you've seen other convention videos or been to conventions yourself and they're very busy. They're very crowded. Sometimes it's difficult to do what you actually want to do and you end up staying in long, long lines to maybe get three seconds with a celebrity that you've loved your whole life or 10 years or even the last year. This convention is set up quite differently and thanks to a wonderful conversation that I had with Gina on Friday last week, I'm going to not only be able to have the chance to go to the convention assuredly as long as I have the entrance fee, but I'm going to get a press pass so that I can show you what this convention's like. I'm hoping to get an interview with her so she can tell us a little bit of how she got started and how the ideas came around. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to talk to a few stars and share that with you as well. But that's the big announcement for my Outlander fans. For my Star Trek fans, I want to let you know that going to the convention, Indiana Comic Con, last month was a success. I got lots of signatures and support for Star Trek Legacy. I managed to find some people who wanted to help spread the word and did hand out some hats and t-shirts, along with lots of bracelets and, of course, lots of letters to be signed. I even got Will Wheaton to sign one. I guess technically I got two autographs from Will Wheaton, but I did get this one signed for my collection. I've yet to get a frame, and I have his autograph on uh, a letter, but I won't be keeping that one. Now, I did want to say that I got a great chance to talk to Will Wheaton, told him about our movement to get Star Trek Legacy created, and he dished. He gave me some great information on a few shows in production, uh, movies in production, and the possibility of Legacy and what we need to do. Um, I can't divulge any of it. It's really fun. But I can say that if we do keep up spreading the word and let uh, those in charge know that we want to see it, it becomes a more and more strong possibility that it will happen. I'm sure in my next update, I'll be sharing an article where even Alex Kurtzman says, yeah, he's he would green light it if he could right now. So we need to make sure that whoever is in charge when the dust settles with whatever's going on with Paramount and Paramount Plus and the control of Star Trek and its future, when that dust settles, we want to make sure that whoever's in charge, they are aware that this show, it already has a fan base and is very much worth creating. And so really all we can do is keep it up, keep being loud for Star Trek Legacy and Captain Seven, make sure that the enthusiasm for the show it doesn't die down between now and when the big wigs who make the decisions finally make a decision now a couple of more things about star trek legacy and this channel you know that group that i belong to well we've been working pretty hard at this since well last year actually <laughs> and uh, we wanted to try and give you a chance to ask us questions um try to figure out what we know and what you might want to share Basically, we'd like to go live and introduce ourselves so you can see why we're so passionate about this story and the continuation of the adventures of the crew of the newly dubbed Enterprise G. So please stay tuned for any announcements when we'll be going live so you can, one, figure out how to join us if you'd like to, where to send your letters, where to find us if you'd like to join us when we're trying to gather signatures, and really just pick our brains about Letters for Legacy and what this movement is all about. Now, while I cannot specifically plan to go to the final push for getting signatures, which is going to be uh, Star Trek Las Vegas, I am going to attempt to come up with the funds to do so. There have been some financial issues with those of us who would want to be involved. And so 
while we've been spending pretty much whatever we can to try and go to conventions and get people rallied and get more signatures, since there hasn't been a green light or an announcement yet, we must plan to forge ahead. I'd like your opinion if you happen to be watching this. Should I do another fundraiser and try to get myself to Las Vegas? For the Star Trek convention, if there's ever a time where I'm going to get a thousand signatures in a two or three day period, that's going to be the convention to get it done at. Please let me know below if you'd be willing to help us get there, get the booth, get the funds necessary to make sure that we could run it properly. While I didn't get a booth at Indiana Comic Con, we already have a line in for a booth at Star Trek Las Vegas because Sean had one last year. And that's how I joined the movement and found out about Star Trek Legacy. So spreading the word, it is kind of vital, especially if we do, again, want to keep the momentum up, the noise up to get Star Trek Legacy created once the dust settles. Now, for those of you who donated to make sure that I could get to Indiana Comic Con and get some of the things necessary to spread the word, I didn't use it all. I, I know I said if I didn't get a table that I probably wouldn't use anything, but well, as you can see here, I made a cart so I could just bring supplies with me and talk to people, which didn't work maybe as well as a booth would have. And the supplies still did cost quite a bit of money. I do have some left over and I told you that I would try to give the donors a chance to win one if they wanted one. This is the drawing for that. Now, everyone who submitted their name and didn't donate anonymously your name is in this i have one hat and two shirts and i'm going to show you real quick what they are now this hat here it says star trek legacy in a logo created by one of our in-house artists and underneath it does say letters for legacy it's a little difficult to see under the plastic but it does designate this hat is being created for the letters for legacy people at for the star trek legacy movement if you'd like this hat and you are the first one to answer and ask for the hat you will get this hat and I'll be happy to send it to you. Do uh, be aware that I will need your address or a P.O. box to send it to. Now the shirts come in two different designs, same logo, but slightly different because one has a white logo, the other one has a black logo. They both do say letters for legacy on them and have the hashtags be loud and captain seven on the back but let me let you take a look at these shirts and I will tell you right now that though one is marked as an extra large or maybe a double XL could be uh, and the other one is marked as L I would put them both at a generous L uh, large neither are small neither really seems XXL to me I was trying to be prepared for anybody who might want to volunteer so uh, that's why I have less hats and more shirts because it was difficult to size people this is a darker blue one you can see the white emblem on the front and hashtags on the back this one is the L and it's a darker blue now this brighter blue does say 2x but i would call it a generous x at best and you can see that the logo is black with letters for legacy underneath it in white and the same be loud captain seven on the back if you have a preference of the shirts just make sure you let me know black logo or white logo and again if you want me to send these to you be aware that you will have to give me a p.o box or an address so that i can send them to you I'll be covering all shipping charges. This is my gift to you for believing in me and the ability to try and get more signatures or just supporting my passion. I really do appreciate it. I wish I could give everybody something, but I can give you without any trepidation, hesitation, my deepest thanks. It is extremely kind of you to believe in me enough to help me get to Indiana Comic Con. Um, again, if you don't expect anybody who already donated to donate again but if you think it's a good idea for me to try to raise funds for the star trek las vegas convention uh, let me know below I'm, I'm really looking for some guidance here um if you want to help out anyway uh, this is a great time to give me a super thanks a birthday gift if you would for running the channel trying to keep you up to date on everything that's going on as best i can as you know this is a loan project uh, with the support of my husband of course to make sure that i'm equipped if something breaks which it has happened once um, I, this has been my project my passion I enjoy these shows I enjoy talking about them I enjoy the stars both Outlander and Star Trek have given me the opportunity to get to know people who have been um, heroes of mine for some time or who I have just generally looked up to and hoped to be the kind of person they are not only by being able to meet some of them in person, but by getting to know them through their many, many posts, through stories that I have read and tried to share with you. So I want to thank each of you 
for helping me to keep this going with small words of encouragement, with words of thanks, to be involved in this uh, and love these shows and know that in some way we've built a community of people who, you know, we compare things that we know. I've learned quite a bit from you and I hope that you've learned a little bit from me. And at the very least, you were entertained by what you saw while you were here each week, once a week, twice a week, <laughs> depending on how many times I could post and how many times you visited. All right, now the time that we have all been waiting for, uh, we're going to do that drawing real quick. It is a see-through container, but I swear I can't see whose names are in here, okay? All right, my first name is Beverly Eimer. Really happy to see Beverly, but I swear I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> and, oh, let me see. And the second name I'm pulling out is Jill Bjorklund. I do want to make sure there's Jill. And there's my hair, horrible handwriting, Beverly. Oh, yes, I've been trying to teach myself to do gel nails. So, um, yeah, no comments on that. I didn't quite finish them before I started recording. And my last name that I'm pulling out is Rose, eh, Rose Foster. So I want to, again, thank everyone who donated, whether it was 5 or 50 I truly appreciate it, and I could not have gotten the supplies necessary. I couldn't have gotten the cart to carry around. I couldn't have gotten the, quite frankly, I couldn't have got the bus ticket home <laughs> for my daughter and myself. So thanks for helping us get home. Things were a little bit more tight monetarily. We found out that we had to pay for each night of parking as well as, and we were trying to avoid the day parking for the convention. It just, it was, there were expenses we did not expect to have. So thank you again for your support. Um, again, if you have any extra thoughts on trying to raise money for the Star Trek Las Vegas convention, let me know below. Bev was concerned, and in case anybody is wondering, do I need to raise funds for Sassanac City? And no, I don't. I already know that whatever funds that this channel makes are going to go towards that convention. That That's going to be covered. Um, and whatever the difference is that I may need, my husband has agreed to help because I've been trying to pay for everything that I'm doing, either with your assistance or making every penny from this channel count. And just in case you are wondering, as we are at the two-year mark, I am now monetized. Um, I clear maybe a hundred bucks a month. So we are not talking about big bucks. I am not one of these rich YouTubers who can go buy a mansion. Um, I can buy more than a pack of gum, which is more than I could do last year on the channel. But uh, yeah, saving takes <laughs> take some time. And so anytime that you do a super thanks or share uh, a video that you like so others can view it, which does help. Um, I really, really appreciate it because it does help this channel go far. And the channel right now is at 2.75 thousand, I believe, something-ish like that, um, subscribers. So that would not have happened if it weren't for you, for sharing, for letting people know this is a good place to go, and for coming back on a regular basis. When you do that, it lets YouTube know that this is a good channel and people might be interested, so it shows the videos more often when people search for things. I want to thank you so much for that. And I do believe that's everything I have for today. <laughs> I keep thinking there's something I forgot, and I bet you there will be. I did have a couple of questions I was going to uh, ask and answer, um, but there aren't really a lot. So what I'd like to do, um, if you would like, if you would like to ask any questions that I have never answered or uh, re-ask a question that I never answered, perhaps I should say, or ask something about how we run the channel, about um, Star Trek, about my opinion on something in Outlander, Please let me know in this video what I may do as a follow-up and um, answer some. Thank you so much. I do hope you take the time to let me know your thoughts on raising money for that Vegas convention. I hope you will let me know. Those of you who are named were drawn, and just real quick, that was Rose Foster, Beverly Eimer, and Jill Bjorkland. Let me know uh, on this post. First come, first serve, who would like the hat and who would like the white logo t-shirt and who would like the black logo t-shirt. I guess if no one answers within two weeks, I, that's a fair amount of time. I will do an extra drawing and we'll see if anybody else is interested. Um, thank you so much, everyone who's watched a video. Thank you so much, everyone who has subscribed or liked a video. Thank you, everyone who has commented on a video. Thank you everyone who has encouraged me to continue creating videos. And um, I hope that each of you has as wonderful a next year as I hope this channel has. With your support, I can't see it going any other way. Thanks so much. 
And if you would like any Outlander or Star Trek information or Supernatural or Winchesters or possibly, I think there's a Law and Order in there somewhere, please check out any of my other videos here. And I'll see you there. Oreo, do you enjoy the decorations? That's not real helpful, baby. Oreo. I have to go get Oreo. So you can see why we're so passionate about, uh, so you can see why we're so passionate about, passionate? I can't say it. Now I can eat this cupcake. That's all frosting. Probably don't eat a cupcake. I'm going to have to skip lunch, possibly dinner. That's a lot of frosting. Mm -hmm.